All right, we call the roll. Berkowitz. Yes. Joskowitz. Yes. Kaplan. Yes. Harik. Yes. Ready. Yes. Willing. Yes. Okay. Uh, the resolution has uh, been passed. We'll do it formally if the attorney draws it up on paper. In about two weeks, we'll vote on it. Okay. And you'll be able to uh, get the copy and go for your permits. Okay. Thank you. Good Thank luck. you, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Next case is uh, Gregory Frank, 37 Duval Drive. The C variance is a six foot high fence. Sir, if you could raise your right hand, you swear a firm testimony about to get before the board's true self, you got it? I do. And for the record, you're Gregory Frank, and you're the owner of 37 Duval Drive? Yes. Thank you. You're sworn, Mr. Chairman, the uh, witness is sworn. All right. Uh, Mr. Frank, tell us about what you want to do and why. Um, so we're looking to put up a fence around our backyard and side yard. Uh, we have two small children. Uh, two and a half year old and a four month old. Right now, there's no way to keep them in the backyard. So when we go out to play, they run, go to the street, run in the front yard. Not very safe. Um, so we wanted to put the fence up. Um, we're looking to put a privacy fence up along the three side um, along the back. And then we wanted to try to come out a little bit further. Um, on the side where our garage is to give some extra space for our kids to be able to play because we don't have a lot of grass area um, on that side of the yard. Right, so is that extension into the front yard 18 or 18? 18. Who drew the where his fences? You? I did, yes. It's a little out of scale. You got 22 feet from the front of your garage over to Orleans Road. And where you drew that fence clearly isn't the majority of the 22 feet. I mean, if, you, I if that's the area that you want, I think we can adjust the numbers. Is that the space you want to fence in? Yes. The 18 feet out from the well that's not what it's showing what you're showing is just a small encroachment into the front yard if you went 18 feet you cover almost that entire area that's why i'm, I'm questioning what it was you okay say, we, we definitely don't want to go the entire area right. I mean, th there's a good deal of space beyond i'm there. looking at looking the i'm looking at the plan that was submitted with your application and there's a fence drawn on that plan and you can see a little dotted line cutting through the area that you want to fence that's the front yard setback and you extend beyond that not very much but you what you've drawn and 18 feet don't don't connect what what, um, what does it show that what do you estimate that he drew so that the board has I mean if he it? says he wants the way he shows it on his plan then we can guesstimate what that encroachment is into the front yard yeah, can, can you because he about, made, about five feet so he would amend the application for um, five feet I think you'd reference this document reference the survey the date of it and the drawing, if the board's comfortable with what he's doing, mm -hmm. and we don't have to get into dimensions. Mr. Frank, do you understand the point? I, yes, I, I, I do understand. Yes. Okay. This, you're, you're in agreement with this one? Yeah. I, it, what you drew is what you want. What I drew is what I want. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. okay. Is there sidewalks on Orleans? No. Mm -hmm. what? His spacing address though is Duval uh, Drive, right? No, but but he's no. got but that Orleans is the, is the front yard that he's encroaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's no sidewalk on my side of the street. There is one on the opposite side of the street. Is there a curb? There is a curb. No, I'm just I think you 
how your, your property line relates to, you, to the curb line, because sometimes they're not the same. What is that cross-hatched area next to, is that a patio in the back? 16 by 16. That that's a um, it's a like a great room. It's a glass. It exists. Closed. Yes, it exists. Okay. Uh, must have been variance and, and these variances are just for the uh, fence. The fence. fence. They're not even for the. No. It must have been before sometime. Yeah, this is a very old survey. Okay. What about the fact that it's six foot high? Six foot uh, solid. Well, we didn't get to that yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to bring that up there? Uh, All right. We, uh, generally, this board doesn't allow six foot fences. Usually, it was with a five foot with a lattice, with a four foot solid four, with four foot, foot solid foot with a one foot lattice, so, which would be five feet. Which would be fine for what you want to keep your young kids in. Okay, so would that is that for the whole fence or just the part where the we're part, looking to the go? The part that you go into the front yard. The part that faces the street. Okay, so we could do four foot with a lattice yeah. on top. Four yeah. Foot. Making a total of five. Four foot. Okay. Yeah, you're, and you're allowed six feet on the other, on the, on the other okay. sections if you want to do that. Yeah. That, but you may not need six feet. That would be fine. Okay. Okay, and then the solid, the solid part we don't have any problem with? No. Okay, no. got it. Why do we have a lot of 50% see-through there? Front yard. The, this the, is yeah. not proposed on the front yard. The The... I think yeah, we just some, discussed would be yeah, solid yeah, four right. feet lattice. Yeah, okay, yeah, it doesn't affect any. It doesn't affect any kind of site problem. problem. But on the back, he doesn't have to have. No, it's just that front yard. Yeah, yeah. it's that yeah. front yard. Total five feet. It's just yeah, four pieces. plus one. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I could do six around the other parts, and then the part going into the front, four foot plus one lattice. Yes. Okay. Now what? Sorry. What about the part in the back along the wall? The hill. The hill. That's outside the front yard. That is. Okay. Thank you. See that little curved line in there? That's the front yard side. Ah. So you drew the whole survey here. This is not official survey, right? The survey is official. I, I drew the lines with that. Okay. <laughs> Thus making the survey unofficial. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. Many more. It was a survey from your previous owner, anyway. Yeah, it's an old one. Okay. What do you do? Anybody have anything else? No. Uh, anybody want to speak in favor of or opposed to this application? Seeing none, uh, I'll ask if somebody wants to. Make a statement on the. I think it's the minimus in nature, the fact that you want to just keep your kids safe, and you're agreeing to the changes where you asked. I'm going to be voting for it. Okay, and you have a resolution or proposal? I can do it. Application 2128, Gregory Frank, 37 Deauville Drive, <coughs> Block 749, Lot 2, in the R2 zone. I recommend that we grant the C variance to install a four foot high. With one foot lattice, solid, um, well, fence, contrary to section 430-11 A and B. Second, Eddie. Okay, and call the roll. Berkowitz. Yes. Jaskowitz. Yes. Kaplan. Yes. Harik. Yes. Ready. Yes. Willens. Yes. All right, two weeks we'll formally pass the resolution and then you better get a copy of it and get your permit. Thank you very much. Good luck. Okay, next case we have is Mora Mick, 6 uh, Seacon Road. Nobody here? It's weird. You haven't heard from her? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I haven't heard from them. The existing shed she wants to legalize. That's already there, right? Apparently. Is there anyone here for that application? Anyone from the audience? No. no. Do we want to carry it uh, to our next meeting just for an announcement of when this application will be heard so she doesn't have to notice again? 
Uh, yeah, I have no problem with that. Just, just there's nobody else here. Right now. Yeah, we'll carry it. So we'll carry it to uh, July 28th. Would you want to do the application? We, want to, we can just come up with a date, or you, or you don't have a date for us? Uh, I'm working on possible special meetings that Bob had spoke about. Any chance she shows up at 7.30, and should we just carry yeah, it to the 7.30, right? right? Yeah. And then from there, we could maybe carry it to... Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to put her on... Um, well, considering it's 7.28... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the world's shortest carry for two minutes. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Just wait well, for the next meeting. And I mean, we could put her on October 20th. That's my All right. Why don't I have a motion to put this on for October 20th? So, Mr. Mr. Yeah. Chairman, I, I'm just going to ask a question, point of order here. I mean, this looks like a, a incredibly de minimis. De minimis uh, yeah, I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can grant well, an application with any, based, any testimony based on the um, you know proof submitted. But there are no questions. It's but what well, about the applicant doesn't want that? Okay, well, it is a. Are uh, we really allowed to pass something without any testimony? Well, your, your testimony or proofs would be um, what absolutely. was submitted in the application. It's a sworn application. Yeah. That was yeah, okay. Right. You would take what was written on that piece of paper as the um, truth, truth and testimony. Okay. Um, basically, it says here. This is the minimum. Minimum. Nothing. Huh? No. Not a good idea. Okay. Carry. Well, I'll try to get work done. We are. I agree. Okay. You got two shirts. So what are we doing? Carry. 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 Two seven thirty or eight. <laughs> I have a motion to carry this to 7.30 so on the 20th. Yeah. So moved. Second. Second. Second ready. Uh, all right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, more Mick is on October 20th. October 20th. October 20th. October 20th. Yes. October 20th? Yes. All right. We'll adjourn that meeting. That makes a difference. You got it there. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Go to order the 7:30 meeting. Yeah, hold on one moment. <laughs> Announcement is made that adequate notice of this meeting has been given, and that it is being conducted in accordance with NJSA 10:4-6 at SEC of the New Jersey Open Public Meeting Act. Please call the roll. Joskowitz. Here. Kaplan. Here. Parikh. Here. Ready. Yes. Willens. Here. Berkowitz. Here. We also have with us our board attorney, Mr. King, and our uh, board planner, Mr. Chadwick. President. Uh, since we've already done the Pledge of Allegiance, I think we can skip that. Uh, <laughs> Don't open the meeting. Anyone with the uh, At this point, I open the meeting to anybody from the general public who wants to uh, talk about anything that's not on tonight's agenda. Seeing nobody, I'm closing the public meeting. Uh, we have one piece of correspondence, which if I can find, I'll read. Involving uh, the application is for signage at uh, the Blue Foundry Bank. Blue Foundry Bank. Yes. Seven Sylvan Way. Correct. Okay, I have a letter from the attorney Chris Murphy. Uh, firm represents Blue Foundry Bank in connection with the above reference application. Well, we're currently scheduled to present our application to the zoning board on July 14th. We respectfully request that our application be adjourned and all notices be carried to the board of September 29th, 2021 hearing. In addition, Blue Foundry grants all required statute limitations on extensions up to September 29th. Hearing date. Lori, okay with September 29th? Yes, I gave him that date. Okay, well, I don't know if he picked it himself. Can I have a motion uh, granting that request? So moved. Second, Jessica. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? No. Okay. So, I'm put some. Okay. That goes there. Okay. Next, we have resolutions. 
I guess we could, we could do we could do all the C's right together. Yeah. And we can just do the D by itself. So. But Mr. Kaplan and Mr. Berkowitz and Mr. Passat uh, cannot vote on those, right? So is that okay? And Ivory's not here. Do we have enough? You have what two? Three. So, so we have we have. Jack, Jack. Yeah, we have three. So. Thanks. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. We're good? Okay. Good. All right. We're good. All right. Just up in front of you now. <laughs> All right. So somebody wants to make a motion to accept the uh, resolutions for applications 2120, 2124, 2030. And 2109. So moved. Second, Joskowitz. Call the rule on that, Nora? Mm hmm. Um, uh, Joskowitz? Yes. Parikh? Yes. Ready? Yes. Willens? Yes. Okay, then we have, then we have uh, application 20, colon 18. Somebody want to uh, move uh, that application? Or a resolution, I should say. So moved. Second. second. Okay. Who seconded it? Willens. All right. Kaplan, are we on right down to the next? I guess you can call that rule. Berkowitz? Yes. Kaplan? Yes. Karik? Yes. Ready? Yes. Willens? Yep. Okay. Okay. That brings us to our agenda. Busha Sony. Are you uh, Usha Sona? Uh, yeah. Raise your right hand. You swear firm testimony you're about to give for the board's true self you got. Yeah. And for the record, you're the owner of the uh, subject property. Uh, Ma'am, are you going uh, to provide? Are you, you going to provide testimony as well? Can. Could you raise your right hand? You swear firm testimony you're about to give for the board's true self you got. And for the record, could you state and spell your name? First name Karen K I R A N. Okay. And you just live at the home. I do. Okay. Thank you. Okay, have a seat, please. Um, one of us want to tell me what what you want us, what you want to do, and why. Sure. Um, I can explain it. So Just talk uh, right till you get the sort of microphone picture up. That's all. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, so what we're looking to do is legalize our existing driveway and expand it um, additional 64.9 square feet. So our driveway right now, it's wider at the top and narrower at the bottom because there's a tree at the um, edge of the driveway that blocks the opening. And this is an issue because we have four cars in the household and only barely three are able to fit in the driveway. And so our fourth car is always parked on the street and it gets really hard to you know, to get that. I, we, we heard a lot of this. It was put off? Or? It was put off, yeah. Or why do we, Why was it put off? Because I was... I was at the meeting and I heard the I read the I did the uh, the tape, but I, I don't recall why it was. Because uh, the notice had to be updated, the legal notice that we sent out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Had to be updated. Was there any else in there? No, there had been some confusion between the submission uh, from you know to zoning and to the board about that uh, little piece where the tree is, and um, it wasn't included in one review or the other and. I don't recall about uh, the notice, but this this was what she was, you know, she was looking to legalize part of her driveway when they bought the house. Um, you know, it was like this, and then they wanted to do this extra little piece for their cars. So was there a problem with... I thought this you know, know, was, the issue was a curb cut, too, right? You had to get something with the town right. and a curb cut. Right, they have permission from the engineer and from Parks and Forestry. They so testified that's the, to right? that the last yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was the issue. Yeah. Uh, that was the issue before. Okay. a minimum. That's all set. Okay. okay, we also have the, an engin the engineer's report. There was some question about runoff and whether it affected the neighbor or not. Yeah, so that sh wouldn't, shouldn't be an issue. You, do you comply with the engineer's report? Yeah. Okay. Oh. 
And are you asking for any additional curb cut? Um, yeah, well, when we, when we expand the driveway in that bottom corner, to when you remove the tree it. and expand yeah. the driveway, yeah. you don't want a curb cut. Yeah. You understand you have to get a permit from the town. We do, yeah. We spoke with the uh, engineering and they told us. Yeah. Okay. Did he indicate whether he's going to grant it or not? They did not. They said first to get come get the approval from you guys, okay. bring that over to them. And then they'll go through the. That's right. correct because they will not be approved by any other department until they have approval from the board. Okay. And are you talk to your neighbor about uh, what you're proposing. We have yes. Mm -hmm. And what was it, what are they saying? Does he have any problem with water running off your driveway onto the property? No, he doesn't. So just to recap, when you bought the property, the driveway was right to the property line as it shows here. It was, yes. And now you just want to extend that down to the street and remove the trees in the way there so you can get more cars off the street. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Um, how big is the tree? Oh, I don't have a... Yeah. The measurement of it. Yeah, but no, I'm, yeah. Yeah. But you have to get, do I have something you have to get a permit of for yes. removing a tree if it's forester? Yep. If it's bigger than certain thickness? Yes. Yeah, we went to Parks and Forestry and they told us that um, they would give us permission oh, as okay. long as we show the approval from you guys. So it'd be subject to that approval as well. Yes. Okay. Anybody have anything else? No. Somebody want to make a statement? Yeah, this is the family needs and uh, they need uh, to expand the driveway to fulfill the family needs. I'm in favor of this application. Okay. Motion for resolution. Yeah, application 21-03 Ushasoni for Deerfield Road, block 354, lot 1.02, zone R4. Uh, recommend granting a C variance to legalize the driveway expansion contrary to section 430-275X. Second ready. Call a roll. Joshua. Yes. Kathleen. Yes. Three. Yes. Ready. Yes. Williams. Yes. Berkowitz. Yes. Okay. Uh, two weeks. Uh, I hope, I hope two, you have a lot of resolution. I don't have more. <laughs> but, uh, but you have the resolution in two weeks. Pass it. Then you can. Uh, Get a copy and go to the other departments to do what you have to do. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Good luck. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll see you if you show up. Have a good night. Yeah. Have a good night. Oh, no, we already carried that. Well, let's see if she's here, right, James? Uh, that's the wrong one. It's this one. Good night. Mick? Maura Mick? Yeah, I just. M I C K. Is there more Mick here? More for Mick? Oh, you beat me to it. Okay, she's still here and she's still on for October 20th. Okay. okay, next is Richard Taft. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sir, you've been uh, previously sworn. Yes. And you understand that you're still under the, that same oath? Yes, sir. Right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. He's been reaffirmed. Okay. Uh, Mr. Taft, I, I wasn't here at your meeting, but I did watch it. So I am familiar with the where, where we're at. And uh, Mr. Ira Kane is not here tonight, so I'm taking his place to uh, substitute it. Uh, I think we left that you were going to consider possibly uh, replacing what's there with a shed sheds sheds yeah because it's a it's it's a 40 foot container so uh, without a permit I can only go 10 by 20 so I'm gonna put two 10 by 20 sheds okay on the and do you know where you're gonna put them yes it's on the diagram that I provided they're gonna go um, in the back corner of the lot and based on the and set back 
um, six feet from the property line plus three inches just to make sure that it's okay. Uh, they will be installed on top of a bed of three-quarter crushed stone. Okay. Are you, you going to make any any access to it by a path or a no? Okay. It's just going to be for storage of uh, the stuff that's already in the container, family mat family memorabilia, some furniture and things like that, and the equipment that I use to maintain the property. Right, and then the trailer will be removed after you move everything after, after the container, the uh, sheds are constructed, uh, the, cont the contents will be transferred over and the container will be removed. Right. Do, do we put in uh, a time frame for that? Not yet. We can't, we can't though, right? Be the uh, I uh, and I, I was prepared for that. I talked with the vendor that's going to provide the shed, and he says uh, 12 to 16 weeks for uh, to construct sheds that size. Is this going to be brought to the site constructed? And dropped They'll be there? brought to the site constructed. I do have to make arrangements to have the uh, area leveled and have the stone put down, and that would be separate. But that would be taken care of while I'm waiting for the sheds. So we, we, the board could stipulate that these would be modular sheds. You're not mm -hmm. going to have a little construction crew out there. No, anymore. they won't be. They will. They'll be delivered on the back of a truck and uh, placed on the property. That's what I just said. Are you going to cut trees down to put this? No this trees location? will be removed. There'll be some uh, underbrush uh, removed in the back of the property, but no trees. So it's in the far corner of the property. Uh, you're going to store stuff that you're going to use to maintain the property. How are you going to get back and forth to the stuff there? You're not going to have a path or road of any kind? I'll of walk it? back there. I walk back there now to the storage container that is there. I walk back there. There is a driveway on the property that's from the original house that I park in, and then I just walk to the back of the property. Okay. So no additional construction, no driveway going back, no path nope. being put down? Nothing else. It's already going to cost me $9,000 a piece for the sheds. I can't afford anything else. Just to, this is for storage purpose, not to daily move in and out, right? No, I buy weekly at the most. Just no, to get the equipment and mow the lawn. There's no electricity to the no sheds? No electricity. I, I will be installing some solar lights just for security purposes, but uh, no electricity or any, any other utilities going back there. So are these are these sheds going to stay there for ever, or They'll what's be, the plan? My plan is is when I can get a house built there, I'll build a house, but the sheds will remain. They'll still be my outbuildings for storage of equipment and what have you. I may convert one of them into like a workshop, um, but the, uh, the the sheds will remain. They won't disappear. No, if it's a workshop, then the well, use. I wouldn't have electricity. It would be just like a place for. No. Uh, you know, doing projects and things that weren't done in the garage or anything like that. Well, when he puts his house up, those sheds then become conforming. Yeah. So, yeah. In conformance, yeah. Yeah, especially since he's putting, you know, well, is, doesn't it, don't they be 10 feet off the rear property line? Uh, I talked to, I forget what his name is in zoning when I was here uh, dropping the paperwork off, and he said it, it's six and six. This is the rule: six feet off the side, six feet off the back. That's okay. correct. Okay. Yeah. I, it, the focus here is he needs something to maintain the property. Whether he need, you believe it's rational to have the equipment to maintain the property at the site, you make that decision. And then the next decision you make is whether you want to allow someone to have a storage container on his property for his own personal uh, belongings. So you, have, you, have two, you have two decisions to make. Uh, the, uh, currently, and I've spoken several times with my bank, is that they'll, they will consider uh, doing a, a new mortgage for a house uh, when I complete the one that I have now, which is will be in 2025. So, minimum four more years. Yes. So at the time of the last hearing, I know I I was I had a problem with the fact that the shed was there, with that the container was there, right? So now we're saying you're going to have two sheds, which I guess is visually more appealing. They'll be in the back, 
mm-hmm. right? And then at some point in the future, you intend to build a house. Yes. So we are saying we are not happy with the container. And then we're deciding now on, I guess, are the two sheds okay? Correct. Okay. But uh, And I'd like to, if, it, if and when we vote, I would like to say that this project needs to be done, you say 12 to 16 weeks, I would say then, uh, let's say it has to be done in five months. In all the, in all the resolutions, it's a six-month period. Okay. And if six they don't do it within six months, their the violation. resolution is gone. Okay. Can you describe what the sheds look like? Uh, actually, there should, as part of the application, the last page, it will have a, uh, a rendering of the sheds. That is, okay. Peter, what, does he does he have to get the permit within six months, or does the job have to be done? He's got to I think build it, it six months. He has to, okay. Finish. Uh, finish. That's what I put in there. There's no building. It is going to be delivered. Delivered. Right. Well, the, I want the project. Yeah. So, I don't want this to be a delay so, tactic. So, is my point. You know, ten months from now, if there's no shed there. Right. No in, installation completed within six months. Yes. Right. Okay. What's the material? What's the material? Of the shed? Uh, it's wooden construction, vinyl siding, and a metal roof. <laughs> How close is that metal roof to your neighbor's property? Uh, Let me rephrase that, to the neighbor's three, house. Oh, oh it, his house is towards the front of the lot, so this is the probably 80 feet. Okay. I mean, it's, they're, they're big lots. They're very yeah. large lots, so okay. he's quite a ways away from it. Do your neighbors know what, what your, net, your present intention is? The reason we're here is because of my neighbor. Do we know if they're here now? We'll they were out. sent notice. Uh, they didn't show up at the last meeting either. Is there anybody here who wants to speak in favor of or, uh, or against this application? Nobody's indicating they're here. Why did you choose a metal roof and not a shingled roof? Uh, cost and speed. Uh, less wood. You, you, they just have to put framing up and then they can put the metal roof on top of it. So it's less wood. It reduces the cost. It's not under an oak tree or anything, is it? It's not under any trees. Okay. Uh, just I guess the question is that you, how do you plan on putting the sheds? Uh, is the 20 going to be Towards the front yard. Towards the front yard. The front yard. So they'll stick in to the pro. They'll 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 be just like the diagram. Uh, the long way. Uh, the doorways will face into the property, and the long way will be along the property line. And I chose that location because this side is the Lanadex property. It's considerably lower, and it regularly floods because of the the uh, swamp that Lanadex has back there. Oh, okay. And probably will get worse once they construct the uh, the, the, the residential. Anybody have anything else? So potentially this can stay like this forever, with two sheds. This will be right? permanent. Once the house is built, the sheds get to stay there. But even if the house is not built, the stay sheds That's stay. That's right. Yeah. Right? Yes. And as a practical matter, and what building is like in this town. I don't think that property is going to stay vacant for too long. Maybe for three or four years, but not 20 years. Um, anything else, anyone? Anyway? That's it. Somebody want to make a statement, or you want to go to conference, or? I think Mr. Tab has made a, a compromise here, and the proposal will come back to uh, remove the violation of the existing uh, storage unit, which was the complaint filed, and it's got a solution to it, which looks like putting up new structures to meet his needs and not cause him any more hardship. So uh, I, uh, I think it's a reasonable application. I'll be voting for it. All right. Somebody want to propose a resolution in favor of the application? I can do it. Application 2053, Richard Taft, 76 Alexander Avenue, Block 393, Lot 20 in the R3 zone. I recommend that we grant the D variance for a storage container on a property without a primary use. Second, ready. Call the roll. No, no. Call the storage container. 
Was there anything else you want to add to the resolution? For two, uh, sorry, you're right. No. For two sheds. Grab the two sheds. But I guess yeah. they're acting as storage, but yeah. Jaskowitz? Yes. yes. Kaplan? Yes. Karik? Yes. Ready? Yes. Willens? Yes. Berkowitz? Yes. Uh, so the, the modified application has been granted for the two sheds. We'll pass the resolution hopefully in two weeks, which time you'll get a copy. Uh, then you'll be able to get the permits for the sheds to be built okay. and go forward. Thank you very much for your Good time. Good luck with uh, everything. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so we're good on that one. Next case is Karen Olin, 96 Lakeshore Drive. All right, will both of you be uh, providing testimony? Yes. Okay, could you raise your right hand as you swear a firm testimony about to give before the board's true self you got? You're Karen Olin. Yes. And your name, sir? Yes, sir. I see. So by a sign off the and ma'am, you're the owner of the subject property? Or both. Well. You both are. Okay, you can um, sit and, you're, and you put your hand up. Okay, tell me what you want to do and why, I guess. Well, first, and maybe before you start, yeah. there's a report from the engineer that says there's quite a grade behind your house where you want to put the pool. Excuse me, what was that? Behind your house, the town engineer says there's quite a grade there. Right. Slope. Which is the same area you want to put the pool. Right. So we will have somebody come in to level out. and uh, How steep is that? I mean, are we talking nothing. a drop of five feet from the back of the house to the back property no, line? that's or way too much. No, not even. A couple of feet? A feet, two maybe at most, maximum. Have you had an engineer look at this at all? Our contractor? We had some contractors coming in, and um, but since we didn't put anything concrete, uh, we didn't discuss much about it because I mean the slope is not um, it's not a major issue. It's really not that much of a slope. You don't think you're gonna have retaining walls or things of that order? Not at all. Because it's so close yeah. to the back property line. There will be six feet off the fence from uh, our neighbor on 98 Lakeshore and the other one facing the back of our house. The, ones, the plan says it's eight and a half feet. I have the application over here. It says six, six, foot, right? six, six foot. foot, yes, six from the fence. what? Fence? So called, from the fence. Off the, off, the, off the fence, yeah. And we'll be getting a 10 by 18 right. above ground Did pool. Did somebody else's survey show six feet? Mine, Mine shows six. Mine shows six. Mine shows eight and a half. Yeah, right here. Wait, have I got the right right hand? Hand? No. It hand oh, I got the wrong place. <laughs> That'll be the right Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, just to that point, though, it, that's one of the reasons you're here, because it's supposed to be 10 feet south of property. Right. So, uh, it looks from your plan here, you have room to move it in closer to the house, do you not? More, more, away from the property line more? And why not do that? The proposed pool. I couldn't hear that. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. So, you're here because you're proposing to put the pool within six feet of the property line of the fence. The ordinance says it should be 10 feet. Right. According to the survey here, it looks like you have plenty of room to move it in four feet from the property line. The pool. The pool. Okay. So why wouldn't you just move it in and over a little bit? And then you have no problems. To make it even like 10 I feet. wanted to have more room towards that side. That's why it's specifically. But that's in violation of the proposed ordinance. So if, if you move it some, it's going to help your cause here. So if I move it a little bit on. on the, your problem is the board has to have a reason why they grant the variance. Not just because you want and, to do it. Right. want to, it, it doesn't got it. <laughs> it's it's going to be a hardship. In other words, you know, if, the, if the property is. Built so that you know the pool's got to be there because it's flat and it's not flat anywhere else, right. or some some kind of hardship that you know that that that's causing you to put the pool in that specific place. So in conclusion, in order to grant this uh, application, you guys will suggest to put it how uh, far away from the fence to be in compliance with the ordinance. Well, right. Then you wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have to provide a variance. There's a reason why you want that far away from the house. 
uh, aesthetic and you know. And also, it is flatter on that side. And it is flatter on that side. That's your visual. Yeah. So it's flatter further away from the house in the back left corner. Yeah, that's correct. And I want it further away from the house. So from the house in the back, it goes down and then up? It's kind of like that. So there's like a swale? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, uh, I guess back to the point. You have a nice patio out back. You don't want to put the pool nearer to the patio. No, I don't. Like closer to the house, no, we want it away. Further away yeah. from the house. On okay. that corner. This is why. Okay. I guess. What does semi in ground mean? They'll be needed to do some digging. Um, but I was told by uh, Karen, whoever she spoke to, that uh, we needed to do some extra uh, testing a little bit lower testing level on the soil, level. right? Uh, the both ground, it's all the way out. It's a little bit deeper. In. So but if that's going to be an issue, then we rather do the above ground. Yeah, yeah, partially, exactly. Partially. Mm -hmm. But uh, how, how deep? Usually it is like a five foot height. 52 inches, so half of that. Yeah, like uh, then if you go in the deep, then what is about the safety? Right, that's true. Somebody can jump in. Yes, for sure. And so what I'm saying, if that's going to be an issue, then we'd rather keep the above ground pool. Yeah, it was either or. Instead, of, instead of digging the for the soil. Well, what makes it an in-ground pool or an above-ground pool if part of it is in-ground? Semi. Semi. It's really construction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what's the size of the pool again? 10 by 18. 10 by 18. Size of the pool. That's too big. Yeah. Well, the reason why we did this, the application, because of the coronavirus, we wanted to go out less and just try to enjoy ourselves, you know, and that was the main point behind it. Okay. Is there any landscaping around your property? Or are you neighbors? No. Just a fence? Yeah. Just a fence. What kind of fence do you have there now? Vinyl, right? I think it's vinyl. How high? Five feet? Five feet? Uh, I, I think it's six feet. I think it's well, the the owners uh, that were there before they installed that. Yeah, that was there before. Before we got, yeah. Okay, so we uh, the board needs to consider a variance that you're requesting. There. Yes. And we're a little confused on the above ground and ground. But you say, why why not just have an above ground pool here, right? Uh, and put it a little closer to the patio. So the not encroaching on the property is by infringements of the variance, and we have a case closed. Would you be willing to do that? So how close would it be from? Is it going to be okay to be closer to the house? How many? Feet? Sure. Yeah. No, put, from the property line is ten feet. Right? Yeah, the property line is the issue, not closeness to your house. From from our concern of the of the ordinances for the house. Correct, Mr. King. Uh, yes. Yeah. And I I would think even the ten feet would be better for maintenance because the six foot is going to be pretty tight against your fence. Exactly. Can we compromise on it? So you're eliminating the need for the variance? Yeah. Yeah. If you, right? Yeah. Well, we can. Just want to All right. They've got reasons for wanting it not to be too close to the house. Can we but they, they compromise on it? That yeah, that's the problem because if you see there is a wall on the side, so then you really have like this much space to go around. Yeah, there's maybe they're not seeing Yeah, I don't think they're seeing that. Okay. They did an addition there. Yeah, they did that's an addition. That's that side long. That was that the dotted line there? So that's a wall? The bathroom is right here. I don't know if you guys are looking at that. So that's why we decided to oh, go away from one, yes, so, that, uh, so that that, oh, that that's stripe it. line is not a patio. It's a, it's no, it's a wall. No, it's, 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 it's wall. our bathroom in there. That's it's why. Yeah. It's an addition, yeah. They did previously. That's, why we, that's why we decided to push it yeah. further away. Exactly. So, so you can't move it there because there's yeah. a wall. No, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe we do. That's why they, they no, weren't, we you guys weren't on the same, yeah. It looks so. like that's the patio. Yeah, yeah it no, looks like it, yeah. It's okay. the wall. That's why. Yeah, that's good our bathroom and laundry. Maybe like the perfect spot. It's going to be flatter. It's going to 
have enough space makes around. Makes more sense now. It's cool, yeah, right? to cut okay. the grass as well and yeah, do the, everything else. Yeah, the guy needs it. to go around and cut the grass for us. What it's, kind of decking are you planning around this pool? No, actually, no decks. We were just going to put like rocks around it. It's because nice. if you do, you can't go any closer to the fence than what's shown on your plan now. Right. No, we no, don't no. have any plans on you putting that there. You could your house. Yeah, you could put it there. I know. No, we're not planning on putting it in. How are you going to get in the pool? Assuming it's like a bug down pool. No, they have a ladder with the log and all that. Yeah. Okay. With safety. All right. Have you considered the pool sideways, like 90 degrees and 10 feet from the Simonal Avenue? Maybe that that may may not be that close to your wall or whatever. So I'll put it over here. So facing up on David's property, 98 Lakeshore. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. 18 feet. This is 18 feet. Mm -hmm. Instead of 10 by 18, it's 18 feet mm -hmm. down. You rotate it. You're talking about rotating it this way? Yeah, yeah 90, 90 degrees. degrees. Also because the wall is right there as well. Yeah. You see it? It'll be close. That's the only way it'll fit for that is yeah, I mean, it's just drawn on, so it's not the scale, so. Yeah. I mean, everything was, uh, I, yeah, I, I put it there for a purpose, yeah. With you breaks know, around it to see, and yeah, we did well, an option. Like, when the pool is in, how, how, how many feet is going to be between the pool and the wall? It's going to be another six feet also. Okay. From the bathroom, yeah, that yeah. that little stretch you guys wall. are seeing, which is our bathroom, is six about six feet also. Right, so so move it across, it'll be from each side, six. yeah, friend, yeah. So if you were to move it, it'd be closer than six feet. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I see why they put it there. Mm -hmm. It's either going to be on that side of the property or the other side, but it's going to be on that spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the key statement has been that this is the flatter area in the back. Mm -hmm. right? Yep. So they're going to have to comply with all the DEP stuff that's mentioned in that memo? Yep. You're aware of Mr. Kaplan's comment on the memo, the DEP stuff, they're going to be in compliance, right? Yeah. Correct. Experience is granted? Yes. And you're in a 100-year flood plan? That won't affect you. Uh, do more swimming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sure need it after working seven days a week, so we Anybody deserve a little break. Anybody else <laughs> Anybody in the public wish to speak for or against this application? Nobody's responding, so you don't want to say anything else, right? Anybody want to, somebody want to make a comment on this? Sure. Being that uh, it's flatter in the back, it makes more sense to put it back there. You have nobody objecting, <coughs> so uh, I'll be voting in favor. Okay. Resolution. Let me make a resolution. Application 20 colon 26 Karen all in 96 Lakeshore Drive, block 539 lot 8, zone R-4 to grant or issue, severance to install semi-ground, in, semi-in-ground swimming pool, contrary to section 430-35, column 9. Task with second. Call roll. Yes. Kaplan. Yes. 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 Okay. Two weeks, you'll have a resolution. Then you'll be able to go ahead and do what you have to do. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you very much. You guys enjoy it. Have a great evening. I just want to mention that uh, the MIC application is ready to be heard. Our MIC application is. The other people are here from the earlier one. Earlier application. Did we carry to October? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Time flies when you have Let's go. There's no one here for us. No, we can, no, yeah, there's no reason not to hear it. Yeah, there was no one here for it. But so I think we should, we take it, I think we should take it last, though. So. Yeah. That's good. Uh, there's other people who are waiting here. Uh, we have uh, April Holmesy. <coughs> For with Glenn Ray. Uh, will, will both of you be uh, providing testimony? Yes. Yeah. Could you raise your right hands uh, and you swear a firm testimony you're about to give before the board's true self you got? Yes. Yeah. And for the record, uh, you're April Holmesy and yeah. it's your names? 
and you're the owners of the subject property? Yes. Thank you. You're sworn. You can uh, sit down. I have um, a memo from the township engineer that did not come early enough for them to get it in the mail, so this I is got it. Did you get it? I went to the engineering department and picked it up myself. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And this is the case that I was talking to the prior applicant about. I figured. <laughs> what? How much of a grade are we talking about? It's three feet. That's it? Yes. So when I, I just a side note to Nora's point, I, I had to go to get this. That I didn't know about it. It was just written up on Friday. So um, I just read it over, and I see it says there's some shoulds and maybes, but it's three feet. So I have some paperwork here. So from three feet from where? From the back of the foundation on the back of the house down to your back property line? I believe so. I mean, this, I don't know if this was from our... Uh, uh, let's see. This is our pool gentleman that drew this up for us. Okay. I don't know. I, this it doesn't show any topo on it, though. No. No, I have a different one that has, like, really small that he did some. I don't know. If you can see it, it was really hard for me to read, so I had him blow it up with some of the numbers. I didn't bring enough copies, but I have one here if you want to see it. You mark this and take a look at it. You mark it as A1? And we can mark it in evidence, but then we'd have to keep it. That's fine. Okay. I don't, don't know. Look, 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 yeah. I don't know if that's really what you're looking for, but. All right, so. I don't know if that's good enough. Like I said, we just found out about some of this on Friday. All right, so page A1 is a marked up survey of uh, your property with a. Oh, this just pool. this just shows all the calculations. Yeah, the and then there's some arrows. The coverage. Yeah. But there's no. Oh yeah, there is. It's hard to see. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's get your magnifying glasses. He's got, no, he's got the grades on here. Yeah. And it slopes from. Huh, he's got the contours on. He's got no elevation. So. It's ten, nine, one foot. So your property is running from east to west, sort of. If you're looking out your backyard, yeah. It's sloping from the right side down to the left side. No, it slopes from the left down to the right. If I'm looking at my, if I'm standing out the back. It does? Yeah, just like standing out of my house. If you're looking at the front door, it slopes. I'm in the, the right. I'm in the back of your house. Yes. Looking to, in the back of your neighbor. Yes. Which is the high side of the property? The that left side. side. Okay, so basically it, it slopes from one side to the other. Correct. And it looks like it's been kind of made a little plateau back there where you're proposing the pool it's kind of flatter there than on the sides or not I wouldn't say so it's uniformly huh. it, it it I don't know the grading no, but it may, does maybe maybe he altered this. Yeah. all right but there this plan is what I'm looking at a one it says map of property Spotswood builders an old survey whoa very old. <laughs> September 25, That's 63 correct. or 68. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And but it does show it does show one foot contours. Your property doesn't have like a saddle in it, does it? Mean going from if we look from the right side. If you're looking out the back, mm -hmm. actually from the left side, it doesn't slope down and then go back up again. No. no. Hmm. Okay. So they are. The reason I ask those questions is if, if this was a serious grade, you have to see whether they actually do it but that's not what's showing on that plan well are they in fact going to have to move all this soil i did well, a soil he, permit he, too by the way yeah, on friday he doesn't know how much soil is going to get moved around but they have to he's be just fine. saying it's more than 100 yards it's less than a soil permit was for 60. oh really yeah i submitted it i think it was monday okay okay to so tracy you will be in compliance with his letter mm -hmm. all right what else you want to tell me about you want what you want to do 
why? So I think the other thing that um, came up for the variance was the fence was proposed on the property line instead of six inches off the property line. Yeah. So I did go to my neighbors behind. I have a notarized letter that they agree to put on the property line. It's it's just an un um, uh, landscaped area, so. Um, they agreed. I took pictures to show you what it is. Is that uh, all the property lines? Just on the back side, not just the, the back wall. Yeah, the side already has some fencing. We haven't decided what we're doing there. You're going to comply with the pool? Correct. It will. Yes. Well, uh, whether we're going to tie in with theirs or put our own, we're going to probably put our own. But this is mostly the back um, was where the problem was, where they said it was on the property line. Okay. So, so, so I appreciate that the neighbor is is doing the right thing yeah what happens if he sells the house and the next person comes along and they do a survey and realize it's on the property line could that be a problem not if we've approved it if you give a variance no say again peter if you give a variance no okay why does it have to be on the property line our backyard is shallow so i had asked and actually they um just moved in there and they want to put a fence so they asked if they could tie into my fence so they have uh, a gain as well so you're building air fence for them. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky them. Yeah. I'm looking for a fence. <laughs> let's, let's address the one and a half foot variance for the setback of the pool. There's no way that you can get 18 inches adjustment on that configuration. I'm not sure if I know what you're talking about. So it's allowed you, 10 feet and you're proposing 8 the pool. To the, the, oh, the pool. And it goes to the apron. Now, this apron is on the other side of the pool. The, the part of the pool was next to the house, and I gather where you'd have the tables and whatever. Sure, yep. Yeah. That back side really just finishes things. Yeah, it's more of a walkway Do to Do you have around. any idea how wide that is? Uh, five feet. Would three feet suffice? Could we make it four? About three and a half. <laughs> it's about three and a half. Well, and, you don't need, and, and you don't need a bear. That, that's a deal. I sound like a great deal. Okay, so all we need now is a variance for coverage, and that is the township ordinance classifies water as impervious. This board has looked at a lot of different pools, and we don't. So the net effect is. So, John, does that mean when he suggests a... He, he still, we will, if you feel comfortable with it, you give him the coverage variance. Yep. Uh, he'll adjust the plan to not have a, a setback variance for the pool and the fence variance, uh, he's doing his neighbor a favor. But he won't, but he won't need the dry well, will he? He's, it is what it is? He's going to have to go back and talk to the town engineer. Okay. That. Yeah, if it's, if it's required, I'll have to get it. But well, because he not, considers the pool impervious, I guess. Well, in his man, I don't know what they do. Okay. So why don't let the applicant go back and talk with him? It seems like he can communicate pretty well. Are you well. talking about with the engineer? Yep. Yeah, and, I haven't been in, it, to get in touch and, with him. Uh, Good luck. Uh, explain it. Yeah. The, the board has a basic practice of not including water surfaces as impervious. And we reduced the, not much, but we reduced the impervious coverage Correct. by yeah. shrinking that oh, yeah. the back part. Exactly. So that's probably yeah. not an issue anyway. I was saying it's so de minimis even yeah. Yeah, if it didn't. So. Whatever so. they were asking for, <laughs> if you feel comfortable with it, I would just do that. So I'm sorry, I just want to make sure. You're telling me I have to go back to the engineer and talk to him now? Is that what you You're, said? Well, the board is probably going to approve it subject to the town engineer's report, which okay. you've seen. And you you said okay to that earlier. That memo that you're talking about? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're going to agree <laughs> to uh, reduce the width of the mm -hmm. uh, apron on the mm -hmm. The side is it? In the back. The mm -hmm. back, back side to mm -hmm. three and a half feet. Yes. And the fence, uh, will be asking the boy to let build a fence for your neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Do you want that um, notarized? Sure. Why not? We'll put in the main port. Uh, eight two. We get eight two. Mm 
And that's it. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Anybody from the public wish to speak in favor of or against this application? Seeing nobody, I guess that's it. Great. Somebody want to make a recommendation? <coughs> sure. I think the applicants uh, presented a very well-informed and articulated uh, presentation and they're adhering and will adapt to any changes that need to be made and talk to the engineer so i will be voting for it okay i'll do the resolution good application 2116 april home c4 wood glen way block 435 lot 32 in the r3 zone i recommend that we grant the c variance to construct the shed the irregular shaped pool spa patio around the pool subject to that change uh, pad with the pool, well, the change that we discussed. As amended. Yes, thank you. Um, the pad with the pool equipment and fences. Second, Eddie. Full roll, please. Jasper. Yes. Yes. Curry. Yes. Ready? Yes. 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 So it's been approved. We'll formalize it in two weeks, and uh, then you'll be able to get your permits. Wonderful. Thank you very enjoy. much. Good luck. Enjoy. Thank you so much. My kids say thank you, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now they have to be here to testify to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, next we have Jonathan Ortiz, 31 of Seacon Road. Uh, will both of you uh, testifying? Excuse me, could you raise your right hands? I swear from the testimony you're about to give with Board of Street Help You God. Uh, and your name is Jonathan Ortiz. Ma'am, your name? Lauren, And are you the owners of the subject property? Okay, thank you. You're sworn. Oh. Who is he? My name is Tommy Lee. I'm the father of law. Okay, you raise your right hand. You swear from testimony you're about to give with Board of Street Help You God. Yes, I do. Uh, and you don't reside at the property? And your testimony will be just as an experienced builder, but really just a, someone who's helping them, you know, trying to see if we can get this thing built. The only proposal here is for the front entrance way and steps, correct? Yes. None of the other things that show in the survey are requested. Oh, Your driveway encroaches on the adjoining property, right? That was it encroaches into Abscon Road. It, it starts with a 20, uh, what's needed is a 25 foot setback. And you got to come near a microphone. Oh, it, it starts so. with a 20, uh, you need a 25 foot setback. You need a 25 foot setback, but when they bought the house, it, it 20 feet. It's 20. Uh, no, I'm not talking oh, about the little driveway on the side. I'm talking right. about the other one. The main driveway lines up, actually. They end at the same point in the street, uh, basically. Uh, they line up the same. Yeah, but it looks like it encroaches on the neighbor also. Although, Although there's two drivers that, you know, touch each other, the neighbors on the west side and their driveway. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's what they're... Have any idea how old this house is? Uh, I don't. I would guess, I would guess over 50, 50 years old. Yeah. Well, town has a rule that driveways are supposed to be five feet off your property line. Who knows how long this has been? Right. Uh, I'm not really sure. Hmm. This is this form that was given with absolutely no problem. Uh, well, you're right. You share it. You come in and yeah. you yeah. go on one side of the fence, he goes on the other. Yeah. And you plow the snow, show the snow. <laughs> I don't know whether while these people are here, whether you want to entertain a variance for the driveway as well, because it appears that attorneys doing due diligence are looking at this, and we've had, what, half a dozen of these in the last year or so, for driveway sharing, sharing, I mean, it's there. It's existing, right? Yeah, it's yeah, all it existing. And what we're really talking about down the down the road, you sell this house. The attorney goes through and reviews it and says, hey, this driveway is in violation and makes you come here again to get a variance for what we were just talking about. 
So I, I'm sure they would love to have that ability, you what? know. But I, I, I think the primary concern is that. Yeah, I understood. And I think it's a great point. I think they, they just would love to have a front entrance. Yeah. Has, <laughs> to, right now, their their house. John Yard section. Yes. Has no front entrance. That's what the front elevation idea. looks like. No, no, the front idea. elevation looks like right now. And really, they just really. Yeah, we have to mark that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no you're going to lose it. I'm sorry. Just don't answer any phone calls. You go. You don't have to sit down. That's why I wanted them there, and I never just shut up over there. Be careful. We just did. So, you're creating a front entrance to the house? Yes. How do you get into the house now? There's a side door that we park right by the garage and the thing there, but I mean. We're the only house on the block without a front entrance, so it kind of, it's kind of weird. I mean, either we crawl out from the trees like a bunch of creeps or go outside. <laughs> what, so, <laughs> what, what will it lead to? Living room, dining room? Uh, right now, there's a, like a little mud room in there, but we would have to just. Could, and once you open that front entrance, you see the whole okay. down to the end of the house. Basically. Color and architecture is all the same as the existing home. Uh, yeah. Really get the question. Color architecture will be match up to the existing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, anybody on the board have any questions? No. Uh, anybody in public uh, wish to speak in favor of or against this application? Seeing none, uh, I guess that's it, right? Yeah. Somebody sure. want to make a comment or? Yeah, this is a minimum area. Uh, request and it is for the benefit of the family I'm in favor of this. You can include the driveway? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should include the driveway. What's the verbiage for the driveway? Yeah. The variance for We're at the relief uh, from five feet. feet. Relief from five feet for the driveway as it exists. Property. Yeah. So we're giving them more than they asked for, right? Oh, I will yes. get one free. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. It's pre-existing, yeah, yeah. so right. just yeah. now bringing, we're legalizing we're doing this too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it'll be subject to the engineer's report. Yeah. Yeah. You, have to, you have to talk to him. Uh, somebody make a formal motion uh, right. res for resolution. Okay. Application 21, calling 18, Jonathan Ortiz, 31, Epsecon Road, Block 368, Lot 7, Zone R4, recommend granting a sea variance to construct a one-story roof entranceway, landing and stairs, and front wall, contrary to section 430-35, columns 410-13, and for relief of the five-foot driveway? Along the, uh, yeah, along the, the uh, property. Uh, along the property line with the neighbor. Second, ID. And I've been to talk here with you. Yes. Kaplan? Yep. Curry? Yes. Ready? Yes. Willing? Yes. Berkowitz? Yes. I'll call your attention. If he hadn't been here, we wouldn't have approved it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. I own a burger. I'm going to be 62 years old in November. I went with my father who was an architect for 50 years. He died a few years ago. Planning board meetings, board adjustments meetings. And I must tell you, this has been probably the happy day of my life. You were able to help my children. And I thank you very much. Thank you. Very nice to see you. Good luck to you. Turn the front door. Bye bye. bye. All right, I understand uh, Maura Mick is here. We adjourned you to October 20th. Come on, come on. Where'd you go? I met up with the township engineer. Oh, you're at the courthouse. And they said, we'll wait a half an hour. So we waited a half an hour and it's still locked. All right. I used to we're work. here now. Yeah. So I let's go. go. I used to work there, but now we're here. So who, uh, who's going to provide testimony? Both of you? Me. Okay. Uh, could you raise your right hand? You swear for him testimony about the people who report to yourself you got? Yeah. And you're um, more in, uh, Nick, uh, Mickey? Mick? More Mickey. More Mick. And your name, sir? I'm Martin Mick. Okay. Thank you. You're supposed to one. I'm not a resident of the property. Okay. You're not an owner of the property? I'm not an owner. But I four witnessed everything that okay. allows us to be here today. Okay. So. Okay, well, Ms. Mick, why don't you let me know, tell me why you're here and you know, okay. what the situation is. So four years ago, I went to the town because I wanted to put a shed on my property. The town said, how big is the shed? I said, 10 foot by 10 foot. They said, then you don't need a permit. I said, okay. That was the end of it. 
So I went, I got the shed, I put it on the property, and um, in the last three months, the neighbor next to me called the town to say that the shed was not the proper distance from the property line which because I was never directed to go to zoning, I didn't know it had to be six feet off the property line. So this is a picture of the shed on the property. Have you marked that A1? Yeah. I have to admit it's probably the nicest shed in front of the place. I don't have to admit it. <laughs> Could be. I got a pretty nice looking shed. You see you offended the chairman already. Okay. So here, you know, uh, the engineer was out. I showed him pictures of how the foundation was established, level, no water runoff problems. And the do you want to mark that A2? Do you want? Do you have copies of those pictures, ma'am? I can get more copies. Well, you, if you no, want, if you're going to show no, them, no, they just have to be marked. If you show them to us, we have to mark them, and if we mark them, you we lose them. Keep them for okay. a certain period, certain period of time. Um, you have to you know, we're going to keep those. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Um, and this photograph shows the neighbor who made this complaint. Eat the microphone. He was with, he was with yeah, here, the give microphone. me the You have to go by the microphone. Oh. <coughs> he was witness the whole day of the installation of the shed. And never had one problem. He came and toured it after it was established. Let me ask you, when were these pictures taken? Four years ago. When the shed was installed? Correct. So, do you remember what month? Uh, September. Okay. You took them? Yes. So, September 17? 17, 2017. Okay. The neighbor complained actually participated in the installation. And his gar his garage is right on the property line. Right on the line. Yep. And you made it the same color. Yeah. Well, that's my house color too. So, okay. <laughs> it's probably pre-existing. Right. So it is on a foundation. Yes. That's just rare. That's just pressure treated wood with gravel in it. Yes. So it's not a cement foundation? No. It's not a poured um, foundation? No. Would that count yeah. as a foundation? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't Looks think like we have to get into that. Probably not. Um, but, yeah. So how long has it been there? Four years. Have you looked into what it would be involved in moving it? Imagine there's electricity, there's water in the, the shed. The shed probably weighs a ton. Well, you could roll across the ground, it's, it's heavy, but it's, 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 it's not, you know, well, what about, what about all this? just slide it across it, just keep on going. Um, you have electricity and plumbing in there, there's also tree roots on the left side. Which is why it's placed. Uh, yeah, there's a big tree. It looks like it's kind of, but that's behind it quite a bit. What do you use the shed for? Storage. Why do you have plumbing? Well, I wanted water if I was cleaning. So is it is it a sink or is it just a uh, no, faucet? No, outside. Outside, it's outside faucet. faucet. And the electricity is for a light. Yes. A, like a floodlight. Yeah. Security light on the top. Have you talked to your neighbor about this? Since he brought this, no. This is the real story. <laughs> the neighbor has like no TV. place to put his snuff. So for 17 years or 18 years, I let him put all of his snow on my property, right where you see that fence between. Um, and then I planted that area on my property and I told him you can't put your snow there anymore because you're killing my plants and right on the other side of his driveway he has a fence and he said well where am I going to put my snow and I said well you're going to have to take down your fence and he said well I'm not going to do that 
And they said, well, don't you, you can't keep killing my plants. And I mean, you know the snow we've had in the last several years. His snowblower's got the mounds up like this because there's a, um, a metal fence. So it goes through it onto my property. On the other side, his fence is solid. It's wood. So he has no place to put his snow. But that's because he didn't plan for it when he redid his house 19 years ago. So this is why after four years, he's mad. Isn't this garage supposed to be? Yeah, I was wondering if he's that garage. 19 years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, his garage is supposed to be six feet from the property line. But well, it looks like I it's had right on the property line. Correct. No, it's supposed to be 10. Garage. I had Ten? mentioned oh, okay. that to someone, and they said it's probably grandfathered. Not 19. <laughs> Unless he got a... Well, I don't know. And he's not here to... No. Do you know how, about how far away your shed is from the property line? Two now? feet. Two feet, and the back is... Six. Quite, quite a bit more, just six, so... All right. So, if I mean, if I had known I had to go to zoning, and I, I could have moved... You could have done it correctly, right. I would have right. done things correctly. I want you to move your shed when he moves his garage. <laughs> Good evening, Anybody sir. have any more any questions? Nope. No. Anybody here to speak in favor of or against this application? Seeing no one, uh, I guess if that's that's it. That's all you have, right? Somebody want to talk about this? Neighborhood dispute? I think it's uh, de minimis uh, in nature. It's legalizing something that's there. Sounds like she got bad information from the town. So I'm going to vote to uh, approve it. Okay. Anybody have anything else to say or else give me a motion to uh, do a resolution? Somebody want to make a motion? Come on, do it. Yeah. Application number. Nope. I got to find the other. Thank you. Well, I got to find the whole thing because it was from the other meeting. Someone yeah, else. 2139. Yeah, well, I got to know what I'm reading. Oh, I'm Here. Thank you. Application number 2139, Mora Mick 6, Epsecan Road, Block 366, Lot 2 in the R4 zone. I recommend that we grant the C variance to legalize an existing shed contrary to Section 430-10C. Second, Jaskowitz. Okay, and call the roll, please. Jaskowitz. Yes. Catherine. Yes. Curry. Yes. Ready. Yes. Willing. Yes. Purpose. Yes. Your variance is granted. Your shed can stay. Thank you. Very thank, much. you thank you. Thank You'll you. You'll have a formal call. resolution two. in two weeks. Uh, then it can stay again. To wave at your neighbor. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you all very much. Have a good night. Good luck. Good speed, Bernie. Bernie, you're hired. Bernie, I didn't do anything. I just listened to the people. Today, almost to uh, 10 applications. Now we need Now let us go. We have a adjourn. motion to adjourn? We have a motion. We have a motion. That was the letter we had. Isn't it? I thought this was. No. You've had a long day. You don't need another one. Goodbye, Nora. You too. Good night, gentlemen. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nora? Yeah. What happened to Bricksmore? Bricksmore, they withdrew. Oh, with Bricksmore? They're not doing yeah. it. Good job. You got an older one. Why? I don't know. Uh, I forget what they said. Uh, the owner pulled their. Good job. Oh. Memorial service for my cousin. What's the cut under Geno? Or Geno? What's the next one down? I'm not a military man. Captain. No, he was, he was working. Right. Oh, but he had, he had. I said Captain. He had the. What's the stuff under Geno? Colonel? Colonel, I mean. Yeah, man. He was one of the. Lieutenant Colonel.